Edema, the unusual swelling of body tissues due to fluid retention, commonly manifests in the legs, ankles, and feet. This condition can arise from various factors, ranging from prolonged standing or sitting to underlying medical conditions. Recognizing the symptoms of edema is crucial for early intervention and management. Visible swelling in the affected areas is a primary indicator of edema. This swelling may be accompanied by a feeling of tightness or heaviness in the legs. In some cases, pressing on the swollen area leaves a temporary indentation, known as pitting edema. Understanding the underlying causes of edema is paramount in determining appropriate treatment strategies. While some causes are benign and easily manageable, others may signal more serious health concerns. If you experience persistent or worsening edema, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and personalized advice. Early detection and management are key to alleviating discomfort and preventing potential complications. The sodium-potassium pump is a crucial mechanism within our cells that plays a vital role in maintaining fluid balance. This pump acts like a tiny gatekeeper, regulating the movement of sodium and potassium ions across cell membranes. For every three sodium ions pumped out of the cell, two potassium ions are pumped in. This continuous exchange is essential for maintaining the proper electrolyte balance necessary for optimal cellular function. When the sodium-potassium pump is compromised, sodium can accumulate inside the cells disrupting the delicate fluid balance. This accumulation draws water into the cells leading to cellular swelling and contributing to edema. Factors like high blood sugar levels can impair the efficiency of the sodium-potassium pump, highlighting the interconnectedness of various bodily systems in maintaining overall health. Elevated blood sugar levels, a hallmark of diabetes, can significantly contribute to edema. When blood sugar remains consistently high, it overwhelms the kidney's ability to filter glucose effectively. As a result, excess glucose spills into the urine, drawing water along with it. This increased urination can lead to dehydration, triggering the body's fluid retention mechanisms and exacerbating edema. Moreover, high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels, including those in the kidneys. This damage further impairs the kidney's ability to regulate fluids and electrolytes, contributing to fluid retention. Managing blood sugar levels through lifestyle modifications, medications, or insulin therapy is essential for preventing and alleviating edema associated with diabetes. Sodium, a mineral found abundantly in table salt, plays a significant role in fluid balance within the body. When we consume excessive sodium, it can disrupt this delicate balance, leading to fluid retention and edema. Sodium attracts and holds onto water, so when sodium levels are high, the body retains more water. This increased water retention increases the volume of fluid in the bloodstream, putting extra pressure on blood vessels. This pressure can cause fluid to leak into surrounding tissues, resulting in swelling, particularly in the extremities like the legs, ankles, and feet. Reducing sodium intake is crucial for managing edema. Opt for fresh, whole foods over processed foods, which tend to be high in sodium. Using herbs and spices to flavor food instead of salt can also help reduce sodium intake. Circulation and edema. Why promoting healthy blood flow matters. Proper circulation is vital for preventing and managing edema. When blood flow is compromised, it can contribute to fluid buildup in the extremities. The circulatory system relies on a complex network of arteries and veins to transport blood throughout the body. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart, while veins return deoxygenated blood back to the heart. When circulation is impaired, blood flow slows down and fluid can leak from the blood vessels into surrounding tissues, leading to edema. Promoting healthy circulation through regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and avoiding prolonged sitting or standing can help prevent fluid buildup and reduce swelling. How to get rid of edema. The key to resolving edema lies in addressing these underlying issues, particularly through diet and supplementation. Three crucial nutrients can help restore balance. Potassium. This mineral is essential for the proper function of your sodium-potassium pumps, but it's challenging to get enough from diet alone. You need around 4,700 mg daily, which would typically require a large amount of plant foods. However, on a carnivore diet you can focus on potassium-rich sources like meat, especially organ meats such as liver and heart, which provide potassium in higher amounts. Magnesium. This mineral is involved in energy production and muscle function, including the muscles in your blood vessels. A magnesium deficiency can lead to fatigue and cramps. On a carnivore diet, magnesium can be obtained from sources like bone broth, organ meats, and seafood, all of which provide a good amount of this essential nutrient. Vitamin B1, thiamine. 
Vitamin B1 is crucial for carbohydrate metabolism and preventing the glycation process that damages your blood cells. On a carnivore diet, thiamine can be found in meats, particularly in pork and liver, which are excellent sources of this important vitamin, helping to protect your nerves and improve circulation. Lifestyle modifications, exercise and compression for reducing swelling. Incorporating specific lifestyle modifications can significantly impact edema reduction by improving circulation, promoting fluid drainage, and supporting overall health. Regular exercise, engaging in physical activity, even gentle exercises like walking or swimming, can stimulate blood flow and help flush out excess fluid from the extremities. Elevation, elevating your legs above heart level for 20 to 30 minutes several times a day can encourage fluid drainage and reduce swelling. Compression stockings, Wearing compression stockings or socks can help improve circulation and prevent fluid buildup in the legs. These garments apply gentle pressure that promotes blood flow back to the heart. Massage. Gentle massage, particularly lymphatic drainage massage, can stimulate the lymphatic system, which plays a crucial role in fluid balance and removing waste products from the body. The importance of consistency, maintaining dietary changes for long-term results. While making dietary changes to alleviate edema can bring about noticeable improvements, maintaining these changes consistently is key to experiencing lasting relief. Our bodies thrive on routine and when we establish healthy eating habits, we create an environment that supports optimal fluid balance. Continue to prioritize potassium-rich foods, incorporating them into your daily meals and snacks. Make it a habit to read food labels and choose products with lower sodium content. Embrace home-cooked meals as much as possible as this allows you to control the ingredients and sodium levels in your food. By making sustainable dietary changes and sticking with them, you can effectively manage edema and prevent its recurrence. When to seek medical advice, recognizing severe or persistent edema. While edema can often be managed with lifestyle modifications and dietary changes, it's crucial to recognize when medical advice is necessary. If you experience sudden or severe swelling, particularly if accompanied by pain, redness, or warmth in the affected area, seek immediate medical attention. Persistent edema that doesn't improve with home remedies may indicate an underlying medical condition requiring further evaluation and treatment. If edema is accompanied by shortness of breath, chest pain, or difficulty breathing, seek emergency medical care as these symptoms could signal a more serious issue. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. We'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and share your experiences or any questions you have about dealing with edema. See you in the next video.